NFT or non-fungible tokens are unique tokens that represent digital files or physical objects. They are most commonly used especially in digital art and collectible items. NFT have completely changed the way people use blockchain technology. Through this new technology, it is possible to sell digital artworks in the form of digital tokens where digital collectors can bid on auctions and pay with cryptocurrencies, thus opening up a new digital world for content creators and digital artists to monetize their digital content. Researching uses of crypto collectibles became very popular after the digital artist Beeple sold his digital image collage every day's the first 5,000 days for $69.3 million at an auction at the traditional auction house Christie's. With this sale, he made Beeple the third living artist after Jeff Koons and David Hockney. With such staggering figures, it is easy to see why the interest in minting NFT has been growing day by day. For newbies, there is still some confusion as to what NFT minting is and what it involves in creating your first NFT. Hello everyone and welcome back to the Metaverse Economy channel. In this video, I will focus on providing you with a comprehensive guide on how to create an NFT or minting your very first NFT. Don't forget to subscribe if you want to catch more videos like this. While NFT can be extremely lucrative, the minting process itself could cost a lot. Such that, you will have to part with a significant sum even before you make your first NFT sale, all thanks to gas fees. This might make NFT minting sound like a complex subject to some, but luckily the process of making an NFT is not as technical as you would have imagined. With the right tool and basic computer skills, anyone can mint an NFT. But first, it is advisable to have a deep understanding of the technology. What is a non-fungible token, NFT? NFT stands for non-fungible token. An NFT transforms a digital file into a digital asset. An NFT token is created and stored on a blockchain, usually Ethereum, serving as proof of ownership and improvements of a specific item. It works like a digital certificate of authenticity that can be easily verified by anyone anywhere in the world on a blockchain. When it comes to the NFT space or NFT world, crypto collectibles or digital collectibles can represent various items including photographs, images, audio or music files, plain text files, documents, PDFs or tweets, 3D models, online game items, virtual properties, virtual worlds, metaverses, web domain names, and other valuable assets. A non-fungible token ensures that a digital work of art or any digital item or file is a unique token, collectible and tradable. Many consider them a revolution for the digital art market. Now that I cleared all that and you know what exactly NFT are, let's go into the main question. Now to the main question, what is NFT minting? In simple terms, minting NFT refers to the process of turning a digital file into a crypto collectible or digital asset on the Ethereum blockchain. The digital item or file is stored in this decentralized database or distributed ledger forever, and it is impossible to edit, modify, or delete it. As is the process of creating fiat coins. When a manufacturer mints a physical coin, the process of uploading a specific item onto the blockchain is known as minting. Or we can define NFT minting as the process by which your digital art or digital content becomes a part of the Ethereum blockchain. The NFT minting process is similar to the way metal coins are minted and put into circulation. Non-fungible tokens are also minted after they are created. This process turns a simple file into a crypto asset easily traded or bought with cryptocurrencies on a digital marketplace without an intermediary. During the minting process, the creator of the NFT can schedule royalties from every subsequent sale, which will be a commission he can receive whenever his work is sold to another person or is traded on the secondary market. It is difficult to estimate how long it might take during the process of minting NFT. But most NFT platforms, tools, and NFT marketplaces make the NFT creation process easy. By default, the process of creating an account or logging into the major NFT marketplaces is just to install a browser Chrome extension called MetaMask, which is an Ethereum wallet. Now, turning your digital content into NFT or uploading the file to the NFT marketplaces and listing it for sales is similar to the process of uploading a video on YouTube, uploading a music file on Spotify, and is even similar to the process of listing a digital item or product for sale on Amazon, eBay, or Etsy. All you need is to upload the file PNG, JPG, GIF, MP3, or MP4, assign a title and subtitle, add a description, set up royalties, and list it for sale. While minting an NFT is a very easy process, it doesn't come cheap. Most NFT and NFT markets are stored and hosted using the smart contracts of the Ethereum blockchain. Using the Ethereum blockchain, creating NFT, buying, selling, or transferring an asset at an Ethereum address has a cost, and that cost is called the gas fee. This fee typically costs between $50 and $200 depending on the demand of the Ethereum network or the NFT platform. 
While there are rumors on minting NFT for free, you cannot mint an NFT for free, at least not yet. What you can do when minting or creating an NFT is to choose a more affordable platform. Currently, the largest NFT marketplaces are hosted on the Ethereum blockchain and the Binance Smart Chain protocol. The most popular and most economical NFT marketplaces on the Ethereum blockchain are the OpenSea NFT, Rarible, and Mintable. The most popular marketplaces on the Binance Smart Chain network are Bakery Swap, Jugger World, and Treasure Island. After selecting the platform and before you start minting NFT, you will need a digital wallet or Ethereum wallet. The most popular digital wallets are MetaMask, Trust Wallet, Coinbase Wallet, and Rainbow. When you create a wallet, it generates a seed phrase, which is a string of 12 random words that allows you to access your funds in case you lose access or forget your wallet password. A cryptocurrency wallet or digital wallet is composed of a public wallet address and a private key. The public wallet address is usually used to transfer any cryptocurrency or NFT from one wallet to another, while the private keys or secret keys allow you to have control over your funds. Another cryptocurrency wallet that is becoming popular and worth mentioning is Fortmatic slash Magic, which allows the user to log in with an email address and password. The Fortmatic Magic wallet will create and store the seed phrase or secret key for you securely and simply. Once you have all that, you can mint an NFT yourself. Literally any digital content or file can be turned into an NFT art or NFT asset. So if you are a content creator, graphic designer, or digital artist, you can easily turn your work, be it 3D models, text files, documents, PDF, or tweets, videos, or music into a collectible crypto asset with real cash value. The process is generally simple. If you are using Google Chrome browser, you can easily install the browser extension MetaMask which is the default wallet of most NFT marketplaces and blockchain apps. But make sure your wallet has Ether F, the native cryptocurrency of the Ethereum blockchain. After that, you are ready to create your first NFT. Here is the default of most major marketplaces and NFT platforms. Connect your wallet to the NFT marketplace. Your profile on any Ethereum-based NFT marketplace, OpenSea NFT, Rarible, Nifty Gateway, Foundation, or Super Rare, will be activated as soon as you connect your MetaMask wallet, and from there you can create a username or display name, add a profile photo or cover photo of your collection, and add links to your social networks, personal blog, eShop, or portfolio page. Next, you will have to upload your file. The process of uploading your file or creating your own NFT is quite simple. Just look for the Create an NFT page in your chosen marketplace. From there, you can upload images in PNG, JPG, or GIF formats, a music file in MP3 or WAV formats, a video file in MP4 format, or a 3D file in GLB format. Remember that an NFT is not the digital file or any digital content itself, but rather a representation of the file or content. Given that the Ethereum blockchain will be able to store your NFT tokens for quite some time, you need to make sure that the file being represented by an NFT is being well stored. It makes more sense to store the digital file in a decentralized database, such as an IPS or interplanetary file system. Using centralized databases, such as cloud hosting services, can be very risky for the security of your file. Using temporary cloud storage services like Google Drive or any other centralized database may not be a better long-term file storage solution appropriate for digital items turned into NFT. After uploading your file or your digital artwork, you could add or assign a title and a description of the item and then click the Mint NFT, or Is For Sale button, depending on the platform. All transactions made on the Ethereum network have a cost, and this cost is paid with the Ether F cryptocurrency. Hence, at this stage, a gas fee or transaction fee will need to be approved in your digital wallet to complete the minting of the NFT. Just to clarify one thing, gas fees are not fees created or charged by the NFT platform or marketplace you are using, they are paid for using the Ethereum blockchain. After uploading the file and paying the gas fee, the NFT minting process is automatically started. During this process, the Ethereum smart contract executes a code that will be implemented in your artwork on the Ethereum blockchain. The non-fungible token ecosystem is growing fast and becoming easier to use. For anyone interested in minting their own NFT, the process is quite simple. Whether you want to create, buy, or sell NFT, there's a project out there for you to use. Happy minting! Thanks for watching, if you found this video useful, please hit the like button and don't forget to subscribe.